Hi, I'm Sunny and this is Andy and we are the team behind Woolly's own brand, Food Photography. We certainly are, including this little beauty here. Woohoo! <laughs> Today we're going to show you how to decorate and photograph a summer favourite, a pavlova. An Aussie favourite or Aussie classic I hear. Indeed. Yeah? yeah, and I'm going to do this with a little bit of a twist. Excellent. So I've got some strawberries that I've chopped up into quarters. And what I'm going to do is sprinkle over some sugar and give it a really good mix through. And what we're going to do is also add a dash of balsamic vinegar to it. Wow, it's an interesting addition. Mm, interesting, but it's a really nice combination. You don't need a lot, just a little splash. Pop that over here. We're going creme fraiche here. But to sweeten it up a little bit, we're going to add a nice little drizzle of maple syrup. Put that through. Here we go. Add a little bit of vanilla bean paste. What I like about this one is that it's got the seeds through it, so it gives that nice little speckled effect to it, which is really pretty. You can smell that vanilla. Yeah, it it's great. really good, isn't it? Okay, so here we have our pav. Starting in the middle, do a few little dollops, and then with the back of the spoon, just ease it gently. So just keep working your way around. Looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm really carefully going to start spooning this over again, taking care not to go all the way to the end of the cream. It's nice to see the layer of the pav, the layer of the creme fraiche, and then the strawberries. And we're going to add a little sprinkling of pistachios, get them out and just do a really nice line going all the way across. Okay, so I'm going to put a few little sprigs of thyme, just break a few pieces. I think we're ready for a bit of a a dusting, give it a really good shape because it'll soak in. Looks we'll beautiful. Give it a try. Let's take Great. a quick photo before we dig in. Good. Well, this is looking delicious, Sunny. So what I'm going to do for this first shot, take it from the above angle so we can really see all those toppings. Now, as you can see, we've got a lot of white in this frame and it's quite a bright exposure. So I'm going to just tap right in the middle of the frame on those strawberries, which are a bit darker than everything else and that will help set our exposure. And as you can see, that's nice and even now. And the other thing I want to try is to actually change our angle down to a bit of a three quarter, because you can see we've got this lovely drizzle oozing off the side of the pav. And again, I'm going to pick out the exposure point with my thumb to really set our exposure. And I actually think I prefer this angle. You can see all the deliciousness a bit better. And there's our final shot. Andy, these photos look so beautiful. Now you can finally tuck in. Oh, it's such a beautiful pav. Let's do it. Have a go, everyone. We hope you've enjoyed our pav tips today. Our crews certainly enjoyed this shoe. We sure did enjoy that pav, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're looking forward to seeing what yummy combinations you guys can come up with at home.